हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम टू आईटीएलएस एकेडमी एम्पावर द यूथ सो टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल गोइंग टू स्टडी आर लेक्चर टू दैट इज माइक्रोस्कोप एंड द स्टडी ऑफ माइक्रोबियल स्ट्रक्चर दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लेक्चर ऑफ माइक्रोबायोलॉजी बिकॉज इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वॉट इज माइक्रोस्कोप वॉट आर द फंक्शंस ऑफ माइक्रोस्कोप डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ माइक्रोस्कोप and at the end we will discuss some important questions that were going to ask in the examination so students today we will going to study about microscope so let's get started with the topic what is a microscope microscope is a is an instrument that makes an enlarged image of a small object thus revealing details too small to be seen by the unaided eyes the most familiar kind of microscope is the optical microscope which uses visible light focused through lens so microscope it is a type of an instrument what it does it makes a very tiny image very small uh, so, uh, that makes a very small object visible right as we have studied that microbiology what is microbiology it is a study of a very small object that this object that we cannot see with our naked eyes so what does microscope do so it is a type of an instrument that makes this small object visible through it right what does it do it make this small uh, object enlarge so that you can easily visualize that object but by the use of microscope so the most familiar kind of microscope uh, that is used is a optical microscope what is optic optical microscope we will going to study this in detail but what does it do it uh, uses the visible light focused through the lenses and then what does it do it enlarge the image and you can easily see what the is the image is about so what does microscope means so from where this term uh, you know microscope came so the word microscope come from a latin that is microscopium which derived from the greek word micros means small and scopian means to look at so the it came from the greek word that is microscopium so what does it means means how to see a very small object by looking at it but only uh, it is visible through a microscope so this is what is microscope and from where this uh, world came now moving to the next that is what are the functions of microscope so somewhat microscope look like this For here uh, this a on this area you can place your slide and uh, through the through uh, from here you can easily see what is there in the slide so a uh, slide look like something this and here you put your sample in it and through this uh, and this light you place it over here and through this eyepiece you can easily visualize what is the what does it the sample looks like what are different kinds of microscope in it let's say bacteria if we talk about bacteria what are the shapes and what are the sizes of bacteria what is the color what means different details you can easily get through this microscope so the function of microscope is it is a tool that produces a uh, enlarged image of a small object that we have already discussed ki uh, like a very small object can be visualized by making it enlarge allowing to uh, observer to have an exciting close view of a minute structure in a slide it is primarily used for examinating so basically it is uh, used for examination um this uh, microscope uh, what does it do it uh, makes a uh, image very large 
with the help of this microscope and um, you can easily close view uh, a very minute structure uh, in a slide like this if we put us a sample on this slide so you can see a very minute very uh, small object that you cannot see with your naked eyes you can easily see with the help of microscope now coming to the next what are the different types of microscope so there are different types of microscope like the first is the light microscope second is electron microscope so light microscope is further divided into two part that is compound microscope and stereo microscope whereas electron microscope is divided into two that is scanning electron microscope and transmission electron microscope if I talk about the compound microscope, it is a fine slice or a section of specimen required. The light passes through a specimen. Image appears 2D. Stain are often required to see details. This is about the compound microscope where uh, a light is needed to pass through the specimen. The image that you get from the compound microscope is a 2D image. If I talk about the stereo microscope, it is the most advanced version of compound microscope. In this, whole or a part of a specimen can be viewed. Means a whole specimen, means whole sample also you can see. But a small part can also be seen. Then a light bounces off surface of a specimen. Image appears here is 3D. So image, how is it look like? Uh, a 3D image viewed with a natural uh, colors it uh, view with a natural colors means what uh, what is the basic color you can easily uh, view that all uh, only then coming to the next that is electron microscope so uh, the further the electron microscope is also divided into two part that is a scanning electron microscope and transmission electron microscope so if we talk about the scanning electron microscope, so how is it look like? So scanning look like, like um, a whole or a part of a specimen can be viewed, uh, can be viewed electron bounces off the surface and are detected. Image appears 3D here. Uh, image appears 3D. Image is grayscale but can be colored. Um, means uh, the image that is appeared uh, through the microscope is somewhat uh, is uh, in a grayscale but it can be further colored. So it is also an advanced version which gives the image in the form of 3D. 3D image you get from this. Then moving to the tra uh, transmission electron microscope that is a very fine section of a specimen required means uh, you require a very very small section of the specimen what does it do electron passes through uh, and interact with the specimen the specimen that you have provided the electron then uh, passes through that and they get interacted with the specimen the image here you get is 2d image is again in this is a gray uh, gray scale but it can be colored later right so this is a different types of microscope though this we will going to study in detail now moving to the next that is a light microscope so somewhat a light microscope look like this here it is an eyepiece this section is an eyepiece where you uh, place your eye then it is a stereo head this is a top lighting right then it is a stage where you put your slide on it this is a stage plate again this is stage clips uh, what does it do it uh, generally you know uh, uh, fix the slide that it cannot move and this uh, is stage plate where you place your slide here right and this by uh, this clip you can hold that slide that it cannot move and here it is a focus knob where you can adjust your focus so there are different types of microscope that we have already seen in the uh, table now uh, coming to uh, the light microscope that is the first one so there are basic micro these are basic microscope that use light to magnify uh, objects the lens in these uh, microscope in uh, reflect the light from the object beneath them to appear closer 
the different types of light or optical microscopes are compound microscope simple microscope or last is dissection uh, or uh, stereo microscope so basically it is a very uh, you know common type of microscope or you can say a very basic microscope what does it do it magnify the uh, object means it enlarges the object those object that you cannot see with your naked eyes so what does they do they enlarge that object so here the lenses in these microscope what does it do it reflects the light from the object that is uh, placed beneath them and uh, because of that the object appears very closer and because when it appears a closer that what does it do it magnifies that object means it enlarge that object so again there are again different types of microscope one of them is a stereo microscope that is we have shown in this diagram now if we talk about what are the functions of microscope let's say what is the function of compound microscope so it's simply study of virus and bacteria so basically when uh, you have to study about uh, viruses and bacteria you use compound microscope this is not a key you know uh, you cannot use different microscope you can also use different microscope but this compound microscope simplifies the uh, studies of bacteria and viruses they are used in pathology lab to make an easy diagnosis of diseases so uh, in diagnostic uh, centers means in pathology labs where uh, they can also be used where um, they diagnose any disease they are also used in forensic laboratories to identify human fingerprints so compound microscope also used in the forensic labs where they identify human fingerprints both simple and compound microscope can be used for microbiological study so the, these are both simple as well as the compound microscope uh, they, uh, how they are uh, where they used they are used in a uh, microbiological studies means uh, where those objects that are living and uh, the size are very small so they are used to uh, for the studies of those uh, objects like uh, fungi like algae they can be viewed under these microscope microscope can also be used to study the soil particles even if you want to study the part uh, soil particle so simply you can use compound microscope and uh, under the under the compound microscope you can also study the soil particles so these are the functions of compound microscope now moving to the next that is the electron microscope so student these electron microscopes uh, you know uh, these are uh, uh, the advanced version of microscope as compared to to the simple or you can say the light microscope these are uh, uh, some advanced version so let's see electron microscope instead of light these microscope use beam of electron to generate images so in the light microscope since the name suggests light so they are using the light to generate the image here the name suggests that is electron so here they need you know uh, uh different types of beam of electron and with the help of this beam of electron they generate images they are uh, the two well known electron microscope are tem and sem so tem is a transmission electro electron microscope and sem is a scanning electron microscope so uh, again what is electron microscope so electron microscopes are those mic uh, i am writing it here you can simply uh, take a screenshot what is electron if we talk about the electron microscope so simply these are the uh, microscope that uses b of electron what does they do use beam of electron so these beam of electron they interact with the object and makes that object 
enlarge and you can easily see those object that you cannot see with the naked eyes so here since its name suggests electron so it is using the beam of electron similar cases with that uh, light microscope since the name suggests light so they use the beam of light right so uh, 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 so uh, they use beam of light to generate the image so basically electron microscopes you know are um, uh, divided into two parts that is stem and stem so if we talk about uh, uh, this stem so stem is a transmission uh, electron microscope and stem is a scanning uh, electron microscope stem the electron transmit or pass through a very thin specimen means uh, the electron that uh, uh, what does they do they pass through a very th thin specimen uh, means a specimen again a student uh, since uh, from slide one i am using one term that is a specimen so if anyone doesn't know what is a specimen i am writing the uh, meaning of a specimen here you can simply take uh, the screenshot so what is a specimen so a uh, specimen is a sample of anything sample of something you can say not anything sample of something let's say sample of example sample of bacteria here a very small amount of uh, sample you take uh, uh, of bacteria and you can simply visualize that under the microscope so what is a specimen it is a sample of something means sample of anything sample of microorganism sample of food sample of anything right so this uh, uh, is what is a specimen so sorry uh now so uh, uh, you take a very thin uh, sam uh, specimen of anything and uh, the electron uh, uh, the beam of electron passes through that uh, sample uh, specimen and uh, the image is generated so this is a, with the case of stem now with the uh, now what does uh, the in stem uh, uh, they do so scanning electron microscope in this it is scanned through the surface of the specimen by focusing the electron beam so tem in tem we pass the beam uh, we pass the beam of electron whereas in uh, scanning electron microscope we uh, you know we focus the specimen through uh, the electron beam as a result of technical advancement one uh, can also find more efficient microscope like scanning uh, probe microscope and scanning exotic micro exotic microscope so um, this uh, is the difference between tem and sem here uh the the image is uh, um, uh in the, in the sem uh, you get a 3d image whereas in tem you get a 2d image right now moving to the next that is the diagram of sem and tem so tem in this uh, they have a illuminating uh, illumination uh, system they have a condenser system and here it is a this is a illumination uh, system and it is a condenser system then image imaging system where the images uh, you know uh, gen generally generated this is a projector lenses through which uh, the uh, beam of uh, electron uh, is passed and it is a viewing chamber where you can view the uh, image similar cases with this uh, they have a condenser uh, lenses uh, not sensor it is a lenses then uh, they have a scan coil where the scanning of the specimen does and it is a viewing chamber where you can simply view the image then comes the functions of electron microscope sorry 
uh -huh, yes so what are the functions of electron microscope so the electron microscopes are expensive devices that are mostly used in industrial and medical research so it is a quite expensive and uh, only in industries as well as in colleges in academics in medical research so these electrons microscopes are mostly used they are used for micro characterization of sample means they what does they do the micro characterize means they may uh, they visualize the characteristics of uh, a sample that you cannot see with your naked eyes again they help in tissue imaging so uh, in tissue imaging they help in tissue imaging for this device testing you if you want to dare test any device you can use electron microscope and then last is the mineral liberation analysis so these are certain uh, functions of electron microscope now moving to the next that is microscope com uh, components so basically if we see um, this image of microscope so we are going to um, study in detail about the component that are used in this uh, microscope so if we talk about the first component that is uh, let's uh, see the introductory part the compound microscope is a high uh, power microscope that has a higher magnification level than a lower power or desiccation microscope it is used to examine a very tiny specimen like cell structure that cannot be viewed at a lower magnification level so if we talk about the compound microscope that are generally used in the study of bacteria in the study of fungi in the study of different types of viruses so they have a very higher magnification whenever you have anything uh, which have uh, you know students a higher magnification then it sim uh, sorry then it simply means then it simply you know then this uh, term simply means that the image that you are getting is of higher magnification means higher clarity quality right that uh, uh, makes a image a very enlarged uh, right so uh, what does they do they have the uh, uh, you know they have a high power uh, uh, higher magnification as compared to other desiccation uh, you know microscope uh, it used uh, to examine a very tiny specimen means a, a cell as you all know cell is a very basic uh, you know study of any biology means what are cells cells are living right and they are so small that you cannot see with your naked eyes right so you need microscope to visualize cell so here compound microscope uh, you know is used to view cell because they have a high magnification level a compound microscope is made up of both structural as well as optical component so uh, they have both like a structural component as well as optical component so the base the three basic structural uh, you know components are if we first we will going to talk about the structural means what are the how the structure uh, look like so it they have head arm and base so the body or a head compri comprises the optical part uh, uh, parts present in the upper part of the microscope so the upper part is known as the head of the microscope then comes the arm that connect the head and the base if we uh, if we talk about uh, the first image if we go to this image or simply yeah so this part is head this part is arm and this part is base so what arm is doing they are connect it is connecting the head with the base and this is the arm right so the yes now coming to the arm connects and support the base and the head of the microscope that i have shown you in the diagram and also it is used to carry the microscope base of the microscope what does it do it support the microscope and comprises the illuminator 
now moving to the optical parts so this is the uh, structural parts uh, or you can say structural component and now comes the optical uh, part of the microscope so the optical parts of the microscope include eyepiece eye tube objective lenses and nose piece and many other first of all we will see the eyepiece so ip uh, eyepiece is what an observer look through and it is present in the upper portion of the microscope eye tube claps uh, cla uh, claps uh, the eyepieces which are portioned uh, above the objective lens then the objective lens are the main optical lenses they range in various magnification from uh, 4x to 100x generally included 3 or 2 um, uh, 3 to 5 lenses on a single microscope nose piece is the house of the objective lenses so this is about the what is eyepiece so where you the observer generally looks uh, uh um, means uh, from where you see the uh, matlab ki object then i tube uh, we have ob uh, where you portion your objective lens and yes the objective lenses ranges from 4x to 100x so there are different types of magnifications uh, range of magnifications that are used uh, as an object in the objective lens from 4x to the 100 uh, 100x right now comes the adjustment knob so what are adjustment knobs so adjustment adjustment knobs uh, that are often used to focus the, uh, the microscope stage stage again it is a specimen to be viewed in the place a, man, a mechanical stage is uh, often used when working on a specimen at a higher magnification whenever you want you are using any higher magnification so you know um, mecha mechanical stage uh, is also often used then uh, this is when delicate of uh, movement of a specimen is required then illuminator as the name suggests it act as a light source and especially located at the microscope's base condenser and condenser focus they are typically used to gather uh, and focus the illuminator's light into the specimen then diaphragm is also known as iris regulate what does it do it regulate the amount of light that reaches the specimen it is situated above the condenser but beneath the stage so this is all about the optical part of the microscope so in this lecture what we have covered so far so we have uh, seen uh, uh, what are what is microscope we have discussed about what does microscope means from uh, means from where the, you get uh, this word microscope from uh, we have seen the different functions of microscope then um, we have seen the types of microscope different types like light microscope generally in this um, uh, student generally what does they ask about uh, uh, the difference between tem and sem with the help of the diagram so this question is very much important apart from this they uh, generally ask you the component of a microscope with the help of a well labeled diagram so you can go through these these uh, are a very concise uh, uh, you know uh, lecture so you can go through this lecture and you can easily get marks in the examination so hope you have understood the lecture if any uh, query any uh, you know uh, you have uh, any questions or any query you can leave your questions and queries in the comment section below in the next lecture i am going to answer all your queries and any anything you are free to connect so this is our website that is www.itlsacademy.com this is our helpline number that is 7080833450 and don't forget to subscribe itls academy uh, you can follow us on twitter instagram facebook youtube thank you for watching please do like share and subscribe thank you